for the main event, and there is the man who leads the points, Daryl Hurley, after a successful run in Brisbane. The big contenders are in the SX Open final. The only four-stroke in the field, Trey Carmichael, and the local rider, Shane Metcalf, along with Cooper, Moss, Boyd, Carroll, Anderson, and Hurley. Troy Carroll undefeated tonight thus far. Second main of the year. Hurley gets the whole shot on the inside with Carroll. And we've got someone down. Trey Carmichael's banked it in a little too high and dropped the bike. Oh, Troy Carroll's dropped the bike. Amazing stuff. Hasn't dropped the race, as you said, to this point. But in the one that counts, he's gone down and he looks to be hurting. Guess what? We're missing another rider. His teammate Shane Boyd has fallen somewhere as well. And had to be right near the finish line tabletop. There's Carmichael getting himself going again. Meanwhile, Cody Cooper's got a healthy lead margin. The replay will tell us more. Well, Cody Cooper's really gone in very hot into the first turn. Carmichael even hotter and couldn't pull it up. There's Boyd. That's where Boyd goes down there, John. Yeah, Boyd has gone down. He's just tagged the back of his teammate's bike. And unfortunately, as we see here, it's just enough to send Troy Carroll off balance. Oh, Boyd, he goes down hard, doesn't he? And TC follows. Two different approaches. They were taking that section differently, and it didn't work out. Both Nokia CDR Yamaha riders down. It's the no-fear Honda man, Cody Cooper, who leads the way. But Daryl Hurley is hot in pursuit. This is his first indoor final, this young New Zealander. Absolutely reveling in these conditions. He's out in front, not looking behind. You see him about to put a lap on Troy Carroll, who does the sportsman-like thing and just pulls off to the side and lets Cooper and Hurley pass. Boyd is down again. That's the second time in one lap, and that is exactly the same position as Craig Anderson and Matt Moss came down on as well. Anderson and Moss trying to make their way back to the field. Well, look at Cooper. Hurley now almost shadowing his every move. But what a massive confidence booster this would be as we see Hurley now. He just looks like speed personified on the machine. He's pretty well been the quickest throughout the practice session. Not so much the qualifying heats, but in practice, he was blindingly quick. I think the thing we need to highlight about shift modal Suzuki's Daryl Hurley, he won the outdoor motocross title on the 454 stroke. To come all, oh, an error there. He was lucky to get away with that as the endo. But to come to the indoors and ride the two stroke 250, it's a whole different proposition. And by his own admittance, Supercross is not his strength. Now, I asked him about that. Why didn't he stay on the RMZ 450 as Danny Ham did? And he said, well, I've just always figured I was going to ride the 250. Two stroke, he cuts the pass on the inside. Cooper trying to fight back, but he's got nothing for him at the moment. Earlier in the night, Hurley dropped the machine in that very position. Went up in a high, the front wheel high in the air and it caught him off guard. And he looped the loop, so to speak. He was able to get back on and finish the race. But ever since then, he's looked strong and smooth and fast. He's now our leader in the main and Metcalf has stalled it. Shane Metcalf has stalled the Team Green Kawasaki and that's allowed Matt Moss through. It has there, ever the opportunist. He was on a different line of the racetrack anyway. He managed to get by as we see Hurley now putting a lap on Shane Metcalf. That's disappointing, but tonight Metcalf showing some signs of old. Well, after dropping it on the opening couple of laps, Matt Moss has scorched his way through this field to now be setting up for a podium finish. That is extraordinary. And not just that, Lee, he has cut a sizzling lap time, some 1.5 seconds quicker than Daryl Hurley to this point. He is really flying across the terra firma. Well, after sitting in behind Cody Cooper, this man, the 26 shift model Suzuki, Daryl Hurley got past Cody Cooper and cruises to his second consecutive final win. Awesome performance from the Kiwi. In fact, it's New Zealand 1-2 with Cooper. An outstanding performance and Moss, his second consecutive podium. When I seen Cody out in front, I just... Uh... I was happy for him, you know, another Kiwi up there and, um, you know, we're not known for our Supercross skills, but, you know, we always try hard and it's good to see that he's, um, he's gaining speed and I was pumped for him, so, uh, yeah, once I, uh, once I got out behind Cody, uh, I didn't want to do a dirty move on him and knock him down or anything, I mean, it's good. Um. The Hurley juggernaut rolls on, he sits on 16, Moss on 12, and Troy Carroll defending champ on 10. Daryl Hurley! So Hurley the hero for the second consecutive round.